Scorched earth here in Calaveras County caused by wind and fire over the weekend. Cal Fire telling me this 22 acres behind me near Angels Camp burned up due to a lightning strike. They tell me it's just one of seven fires in the area caused by lightning over the weekend. We send a little bit less resources than we normally would so that we can get every fire staffed and prioritized as quickly as possible. Battalion Chief B.J. Imlock for Cal Fire's Altaville Station calling for reinforcements over the weekend after lightning from a thunderstorm ignited seven simultaneous grass fires in Calaveras and Tuolumne counties. As that system approached, it brought a series of lightning in the area and generally most of the fires are caused around the same time, which creates you know, a, a big struggle for us on divvying up resources and prioritizing and getting access into those. Thankfully, the rain extinguished some of those remote fires, but its swirling counterpart worked against fire crews. The wind associated with any fire is one of our biggest challenges. Sometimes it's predicted, sometimes it's not. The wind is the great unknown and it is a game changer. The grass fire blazing over 540 acres in southern Sacramento County early Monday morning. Captain Parker Wilborn with Metro Fire tells Fox 40 a car caught fire around 3 o'clock, igniting the dry grass and spread with strong wind gusts. When those winds pick up, especially when you're talking 30 to 50 mile an hour winds, a small fire becomes a very large erratic fire very quickly. Thankfully, fire crews put the inferno out in just a couple hours, but changing winds spreading out in a number of different patterns based on wind shifts and embers spitting into preheated dry fuel. You worry about those embers hitting homes. A recipe, Wilborn says, that is cause for a catastrophic inferno if it's not attacked with the right tactics. And that main tactic that Captain Wilborn tells me about is really flanking around the fire, really surrounding it with all fire crews. So if the wind changes direction, it changes the fire direction. They have it blocked off on all sides. And one other tactic that fire crews don't necessarily have control over, but always enjoy, especially this past weekend here in Calaveras County, is the rain putting out some of those smaller uh, remote fires that fire crews were not able to get to. And one more thing that Cal Fire wants to remind people about is not assuming a fire that you see has already been called in. They want you to call emergency crews to tend to that fire before it gets too big to control. Reporting in Calaveras County, covering local news that matters. I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.